Welcome to the woods. I'm James from Spirited Adventure and in partnership with Woodlands TV. Today I'm going to show you how we find these. Wood ear or jelly ear. How to prepare them and cook them for a stir fry. It can be a little harder to find food in the winter months, but there is usually always something if you know where to look. And this fungus can be found all year round. But before we find the fungi, we need some other ingredients for the stir fry. This is wood sorrel. This is dock leaf. Stinging nettle. And finally, bittercress. So today we're looking for a fungus called wood ear or jelly ear. Its botanical name is Auricularia auricula judea. You won't find it just by wandering around acres of woodland hoping to find it. You need to know what to look for. Most vascular plants have a symbiotic relationship with fungi. So if you know what plant the fungus grows on, that's what you've got to look for. Right here, we've got a dead and decaying bit of elder. And on the elder, you can see we've got the wood ear or jelly ear. So this is perfect. We're just going to pick half a dozen of these. You just pull them off the tree. Try and select the young, fresh ones and leave the old, eaten ones. Now we have all the ingredients, before we can cook up a stir fry, we need to get a fire going. First thing I like to do with any forage foods is wash and rinse them with clean water. This should get rid of any inedible bugs, bits and pieces. Docks can be tough to eat, so to make them more palatable, cut away the midrib. I'm just selecting the leaves and not the stalks from the nettles. Cutting them roughly into strips ready to stir fry in the pan with the fungus. Now that the fire is ready, we need a pan of boiling water for the noodles. While we wait for the noodle water to boil, we also need to boil the dock leaves hard to remove any bitterness. It's a simple task to get the wood ear ready. With the um, wood ear fungus, what you want to do is cut away the woody bit. So this is a good example here. You can see that woody bit. It's like a wood, woody bit of stalk. So we want to cut that away. We don't want to eat that. Get rid of that and then just slice up into small strips. That's all the prep done. Time to cook the noodles. In the four or five minutes it takes to cook the noodles, we have just enough time to cook the fungus stir fry. A splash of sesame seed oil works well, but if you don't have any, any other cooking oil or butter will do just as well. So when you're adding in the wood here, the fungus, you have to be careful because they tend to spit and jump around a bit. So it's a good idea to have a bit of a lid. Time to add the boiled dock leaves after seven or eight minutes of boiling. And the chopped nettle tops. Time to bring everything together and serve. I like to cook the wood ear just as long as it takes to turn crispy. And finally, just add the freshly picked garnish. And what do we have? A wood ear fungus stir fry. So we've got a bed of noodles. We've got the fried up wood ear. Uh, with the uh, wood ear, we fried up the nettle. Uh, we blanched the dock leaf to try and get rid of the bitterness and then fried it up. And our garnish on top is the bittercress with uh, the wood sorrel in there somewhere. 
So a little bit of salt and pepper, like so. So we've got some good minerals and vitamins in the greens and we've got um, good carbohydrates in the fungus. So let's have a little taste. And the texture is a little bit, well, maybe rubbery, but it's actually all together, it's, it's really, really good. And thank you for joining us in the woods. See you next time.